ask Tom on home show. Del from Fresno has a question about a floor addition. He wants to be moving on up, Tom. Literally. Mm. Del writes, have you ever added a second story to a ranch home or do you know a contractor who can? I currently reside in a ranch style home built in 2000 with about a thousand square, excuse me, 1800 square feet. And I'm not looking to buy a new home with a second floor. So we were considering the option of building up and whether I want to know, what, is this a viable option? It can be done. There's not a problem doing it. Uh, it can be rather expensive and it's uh, tricky. It's one of the most trickiest ones. So it's always cheaper to build out on the ground than it is trying to do a second floor. Number one, before we get into the mechanics of it, is the staircase. The staircase takes up a lot more square footage than people realize. You're going to have to find quite a bit of square footage on the downstairs as well as the new upstairs because it mimics itself in square footage. So you have a lot of square footage for nothing but a staircase to go up. Now some people say, well, we can make a little one or, or something like this, but you have to get furniture up there. You have to get beds and chairs and it has to be big enough to end up moving furniture from bottom to top. And if you ever lived in a place where you couldn't do that, you can under, you, you remember the frustration you had having to take things apart, taking, putting them up, putting them back together, things of that nature. Uh, the other thing is, is you have the dry in process. You could, there's one thing to convert an attic. That's easy enough. Then you just have to restructure the floor. But if you're removing the whole roof structure and with a, uh, type of house you're talking about, you're probably going to have to remove the whole roof system, throw it away, and then bring in all new lumber and then put a whole new roof and set of walls on the second floor. That's the tough part because it has to stay dried in and you have to be able to do it in sections and do it quickly in case a storm comes up. So you have to do quite a bit of planning. You can't just wing it and let it drag on. You have to be on top of it for a fast period of time. Now, here's the other part that people don't realize is the structure of the first floor. They all think it has to be restructured. The bottom line is it doesn't. The walls on the first floor of your existing home have more than the capacity needed to hold the second floor. It's not that big a deal. It's just an addition of weight of the roof. Where they have to restructure it is, is the floor joist. You can't use the ceiling joist, which your sheetrock is hanging on now. So you have to put floor joist in, which is going to raise it up even a little bit higher because usually it's going to be a 2x12 as opposed to a 2x8 or even as little as a 2x6 just for ceiling joist, depending on the span. So the bottom line is you need to get somebody really good who's done it before and understands how to do it. And yes, I've done it. I don't do it anymore. And I would tell you to call Trifection and talk to those people over there and work out all the details with them. And remember, it is going to be more expensive to do. So if it's possible for you to build on the ground, you avoid a lot of headaches mm -hmm. and you don't have that staircase involved, closets, all this stuff that people don't take into consideration. And one last thing, people will say, well, get a spiral staircase. Do you realize a minimum spiral staircase is six feet in diameter? And that goes all the way through the house. So it's a huge amount of square footage. And there's no way you're getting a king size bed. I don't care if you call Mattress Mac. He's a great guy, but he's not going to be able to get his crews to get a bed up there. It's going to have to be one of those beds that are shrink wrapped. <laughs> and then it's just yeah. expands you buy, you buy, once you, buy you get up the stairs. Yeah, buy a purple mattress because it comes in a small box. And you, it, it, but it's there never are coming mattresses down. mattresses that do that. <laughs> but it's never yes. coming down. <laughs> it is, and this is what happens. It is once you take a sawzall and razor blades and you cut it in little pieces, <laughs> then it'll all get thrown down there. That's true. I, you know, <laughs> yes. it's, it's, it's interesting you said because I thought when I read the question, I thought, yeah, that's, yeah, you could do that. But I, you're going to lose just a ton of space downstairs yeah. for that staircase and uh that's right it's it's you don't realize how much yeah. th different things and, and the Plus, question is what room downstairs do you take about a half a room out of which which one do you want to do mm -hmm. yeah so. or you could always always expand out for the staircase right well, then and you then, might as well just put the room addition in. I know. Well, he yes. may not be able to get, he may be kind of <laughs> stuck in the in the lot size that he is or whatever. But if and anybody that could can, be. Yeah, if anybody I just, can But do I'm, it. I'm talking to more than just him. I'm talking to a whole bunch of people. Right, I understand. But as, as far as that goes, yes, he, it might be a restriction and people do it. You can do it. If anyone can do it, I'm going to say this, Trifection will do it.
I mean, uh, they yeah. have done some amazing remodels and room additions and things like that. So, uh, and Jeff, and I'll tell you this, you know, some people take on a job and just hope that they can finish it. Jeff won't start something if he knows he can't finish it. He'll tell you, or if it, if it's just not going to make sense, he's not going to just take your money. It's just the way he is. He's, he's, he's like, very methodical, the way he mm -hmm. thinks. And, and he does not mind saying no. Right. It's just, I don't want to do it. It's going to be a disaster. Mm -hmm. And I like that. And, and good mm -hmm. people will do that. Oh, let's go to the moon in a Volkswagen. No, <laughs> we're not putting a rocket on a Volkswagen. No, uh, or any no. other car for that matter, no. or a Tesla or whatever. You're going to have mm -hmm. a rocket ship that's been tested, right? So no, he, or, he'll be like that. You wouldn't use a Volkswagen. You use an Audi. Okay. okay Look in for fine, a question. Go ahead and visit homeshowradio.com. <laughs> Click on the blue Ask Tom button. Send us your question. You can use a form. You can send us a video. You can send a picture. We make it easy for you. Tom answers a new question every day, seven days a week. So get yours to us and we'll get you an answer in a video like this. We post them every day at homeshowradio.com. We post them on our Facebook page and, of course, our YouTube channel.